So in this video, I'm going to show you my top 10 things here in Rapungi. I'm going to show you guys the top 10 things to do in Rapungi. But let's start during the day. Rapungi is known as like a nightlife red light district area, but there's actually a lot of cool things to do during the day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys what to do in the day and at night. When I first came to Japan, I actually worked in Rapungi. Not at the clubs or at the bars or anything like that. I actually worked with an IT firm. And during that time, I got to know Rapungi really well. I'm so excited, let's get started. Number one, sweets. Believe it or not, Rapungi has many hidden gems for sweets that not a lot of tourists know about. Let me show you some cool spots. This behind me is Creme de la Creme. They have one of the best cream puffs in all of Rapungi. Let's go try this out. So excited, it's really hard bread. It's so good. It's like 100% custard, so it's really thick and creamy. It almost has like a slight taste of egg. The bread is like, okay, it has like crunchy bits. You know, the custard is freaking awesome. Mm. Next is this fruit bar from Palatis Cafe in Tokyo Midtown. Check this out. We got two flavors. We have mixed berry and we have botol fromage. I believe that's French. I like how they like put it in a little cup so that you know if it melts, it's not like in our other video where we had the ice cream that doesn't melt. This one definitely melts. Mm. It's almost like getting a frozen yogurt with berries in it and then freezing it and having it as like a popsicle. Let's try the botol fromage. Mmm, this is super nice. You have like the bread flakes inside, which is really cool. Like you can feel like the cheesecake in there. Frozen strawberry cheesecake, it's amazing. It's really good. I thought I was gonna like the mixed berry, but this is actually my favorite out of the two. This is yellow, the best kakigori, also known as shaved ice place in Rapungi. It's right above the John Lemon store and it's freaking cold outside, but we're still gonna have some. Let's go! So here, you choose a flavor and add toppings as you like. I tried to keep it simple, kinda. Let's try this out. We got the Mango Milk Deluxe. So excited. And we got Oreo cookie toppings, which is even better. I don't know if they're supposed to go together, but I just wanted to try because Oreo cookies are so good. That's fantastic. Look at that. And it actually works with the Oreo cookies because it's very like sweet and creamy. And then you have the Oreo cookies and you get that little crunch. Damn, this is good. This shaved ice is so light. It just like melts in your mouth. Kind of like ice. <sighs> When you get this, definitely add the mascarpone whipped cream because it is so good. Yeah, I mean, it's so good itself. But when you add that cream, it feels actually like you're eating ice cream. Then you add the Oreo cookies and then it's just an incredible, fantastic, freaking delicious treat. So I was just going by Rapungi Hills and just right behind there's a store called Pie Holic. They have all these like different kind of pies that you can get. And there was like sloppy joes and quinoa and kale, Oreo cookies, but today 
We've got something special. Check this out. It's an anniversary pie. We've been doing this YouTube channel for about a year now, and I decided, hey, we might as well get a cake and celebrate it with you guys. Thanks so much for all your support. This cake is to you. Mmm, it's very chocolatey inside. It tastes like chocolate. Mmm, it's really good. Very, very sweet. Not as sweet as Magnolia Bakery. It has like a cookie crust, really, really hard. Like this outer shell is really, really hard. And the inside is a lot softer, like a custard. The third layer is blue. So cute. Here's to you guys. Thank you very much. And mint chocolate chip. It's like a dessert to a dessert. I love mint chocolate chip. Mm. So minty. Oh, it's like those thin mints back when you get used to get them like after you pay for like a Chinese restaurant or something. Not Chinese restaurant. Like you would go to a restaurant and they give you like those thin mints. It tastes exactly like that. You want know chocolate down here? Mm-mm. Number two, Rapungi Hills Observatory. There were many seats surrounding the 360 view of the city, and even some nice cafes. This is so cool up here. Look at this amazing view. You can see Tokyo Sky Tree. You can see Tokyo Tower. You can see all of Rapungi. You can even see Odaiba all the way from out here. It's freaking amazing. But you can actually go even higher. Let's go higher. Walking through here, I feel like it's biohazard or something. We're all the way at the top. We made it. It's so cool up here. This is where they like can't land the helicopters. It's amazing. And like we're right here when the sun is about to set. This is so much cooler than Tokyo Metropolitan Building. I really feel like we're on top of the world. Woohoo! Number three, museums. So whoever said that Rapungi is just bars in the red light district hasn't been here. There's actually a lot of museums here. I don't really like museums, but I just wanted to show you guys that there's a freaking museum here. This behind me is a National Art Museum, Tokyo. So this place is pretty cool. It's like three floors and you can like just travel around. They have exhibition halls, which you have to pay to go inside, but you can just like walk around. You can have lunch here. You can probably have dinner here as well. And it's just like chill. They got chairs and tables everywhere. So that's Tokyo Sky View, but right next to it, is a museum. An exhibition going on right now is a Draymond exhibition. And right behind me is a Mori Art Museum. Right now it's actually closed because they're preparing for the next exhibition. But maybe by the time you guys get here, this will be open. They also have a Snoopy Museum and 2121 design site to name a few. Number four, Surutontan. This is Surutontan. Let's go inside and check it out. So, this is one of my favorite udon places in all of Tokyo, let alone Rapungi. Portions are so big. What I really like about this place is that everything on the menu has a picture. And there's just so many cool things on the menu, but this time we're only gonna be able to order two. One also thing that you guys should note is that this place gets really, really busy, especially at night. You may be waiting for an hour or two, so get here early and make sure you try this place. <laughs> Wow, that's so big. Look at how big this is. Let's try this. Mm -hmm. oh, so good. Mm. Let's try the udon. But first, I kind of like it a little bit spicy, so I'm gonna put some red peppers in Japanese. It's called shichimi. All right, the first bite. Wow, long noodles. Look, there's egg, mm. beef. Oh look, it has a giant fried tofu. Look how big this thing is. Let's just try to take a bite. Mm. 
little big. It's so sweet. It just goes well with a salty broth. Kind of a big spoon though. You can really taste the soup broth. Very, very tasty. So let's try the mentaiko. Look at this, look how big the bowl is. This is not as big as the other udon bowl I had. You can see it's actually a little bit creamy. Whole noodles with the salty mentaiko is really tasty. Very, very delicious. Freaking amazing. If you mix it well, you'll realize how much mentaiko they've added. They don't skimp on the good stuff. It's just like nothing bad on the menu. Like whatever you get, it's gonna be super good. I just, I can't get enough. And if you don't feel like udon, then you can come to Takitora. It's really, really good ramen. And it's right next to Tsurutontan. Number five, shopping. Rapungi is also known for its luxury and opulence. If you're balling in life, this is one of the places you would be shopping. So this behind me is Rapungi Hills. It has a lot of cool stores and restaurants. So, Rapungi Hills is a luxury shopping mall. To be honest, I don't like wasting money on brand name stuff, so I can't say it's my favorite place to shop. But according to Maiko, you should check out this store, Estination. And this behind me is Estination. If you're looking for something nice, classy, and expensive, you're definitely gonna find it here. It's a high-end department store with international brands. They've got a women's floor and a men's floor. And right next to Estination, you have United Arrows. And United Arrows is more like Japanese brands. So if you wanna get something that's local, definitely go to this place. She just gave me free tea. So nice. What's also cool about this Rapungi Hills area is this open area. On the weekends they have like really cool different things always going on. This weekend it looks like they have like this organic food festival. It's pretty awesome. Look at all these people. People are eating outside. The tables are decorated with veggies. It's just open space. People are selling goods. It's really cool. Like it feels like kind of like a farmer's market this weekend. So just right behind Rapungi Hills during the winter time, they have this illuminated street. Feel like you're in a winter wonderland in Tokyo. And this is Tokyo Midtown. It's a little bit newer than Rapungi Hills. Let me show you what's inside. Tokyo Midtown also has a high-end feeling, but more friendly compared to Rapungi Hills. And it has more unique Japanese brands. It even has free terrace seating. I love free. Well, I don't care so much about the apparel floors. My favorite place to chill is B1, the food shops and restaurants. I mean, check out all these tasty treats. What's cool about this place too is that most of the stores here have a restaurant and a takeout shop. So if you want to enjoy here, you can, or you can take the pleasures back home with you. This behind me is Don Quixote. If you're looking to pick up some quick souvenirs and you can't make it to any of the other major shopping districts, then this is your best bet. And one cool thing about this place is they actually built a little amusement roller coaster on top of this building. But because it was so loud and it shook the building, they actually discontinued. At least that's what I heard. Holy damn, look how big these freaking eels are. It's like bigger than my head. This Rapungi Don Quixote has like the widest selection of costumes I've seen. It's already past Halloween and they still have all of these like fun cool costumes. Definitely looking for a costume, come here. Schoolgirl outfits anyone? One, two, three, four, five, six, six freaking schoolgirl outfits. It's amazing. Look, I'm a spinner. Number six, Hinoki Cho Park. And this is Hinoki Cho Park. If you want to get away from the busy areas of Rapungi and you just want to like lie on the grass like these people behind me, then this is the perfect place. It's really beautiful right now because of the fall leaves. You can see that everything is just like really brown and orange and green. It's like a mixture of all the colors. I just love this time of season. Do you see the little house behind the pond? You can actually sit there and enjoy a beautiful view of this city oasis. Sometimes, I feel like it's nice to get off the pavement and take a breath of nature. 
Number 7, Izumo Taisha. Hey guys, this behind me is Izumo Taisha Shrine. If you want to do something a little bit more cultured, then this is the place to go. Let's go up and check it out. Izumo Taisha is a branch of a well-known shrine in Hiroshima. I know it's a tiny shrine, but isn't it nice to cleanse your body and soul before hitting the Roppongi party scene? It balances everything out, right? Oh, and they have this four clap thing. Number eight, Cafe Eight. Yeah, yeah, I know it's Chinese, but it's so good. I had to share. So, we just got to Cafe Eight. Now, Cafe Eight, I know, is not a Japanese restaurant. But what's super cool about this place is one, it's open 24 hours. So if you're out late drinking, partying, this place is always open. And two, they have dumplings here that are 100 yen and then they have the best duck in the world. Very, very affordable meal. Plus, if you haven't noticed, if you look around this place, how would you say? I would say there's some pretty cool ornaments lying around, if you know what I mean. Hey, I wonder what's behind this curtain. Well, let's see. <laughs> Look, right behind me, it's a big ass penis. It's so big, bigger than my head. Oh, wow. Nice. What's super cool is they actually cut the duck right in front of you. Look at that, he's cutting it right now. It's amazing. Oh, look at all this duck for 3,000 yen. So what's cool about this is you get this for 3,000 yen, plus you get all the dipping sauces, you get all the vegetables, and then you get all these wraps to wrap it all around. And the soup and the stir fry dish come with the rest of the duck. What a freaking deal. I love this place. Oh, look at that. I'm just gonna eat it because I just wanna eat some duck. The skin is super crunchy, and then when you bite into the meat, it's like really juicy and moist. It's amazing. Just gonna have another piece. Mm. So good. All right, so let's make a wrap. Put some duck. There's like a wrapping technique to all this, but my wrapping level is not so good, so I'm just gonna like wrap it myself. Wrapping level failed. <laughs> So good. Mm. I'm so happy we got all this food. It's so crazy. I feel like a king and we only spent a few thousand yen. Yay! Number nine, bars. Getting to the good stuff. This behind me is Jumanji 55. Now it's known as a club for the most part, but it's also a bar. The reason why I'm mentioning it here is because they have 1,000 yen, all you can drink. Right now it's on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but it varies from time to time. So check their website. If you really want to get trashed and you don't really care so much about the atmosphere, this is the place to go. This place behind me is called Tusk. It was actually one of my favorite bars when I first started working in Rapungi. This is the place that I came to all the time, but back then it was called Heartland. Even though the design has changed a little bit, it still maintains its like classy, modern look. It's pretty cool if you just wanna have some drinks, and the service is actually pretty good here too, so you'll feel just at home. And at this Starbucks right behind me, you can see an R which represents it's a bar. You can actually buy beer here. So the first floor is just a normal Starbucks you see on every other block. But the second floor is a whole new world. You can have a coffee beer or espresso tonic in the premium coffee shop atmosphere. Do they have this in your country? Next is Brewdog, a hotspot for beer lovers. More than 20 different beers on tap. Whoa, I'm losing my voice and I'm getting thirsty. Look at this place, it has so many different types of beer. If you're looking for a place that just wants to have all these different types of options, this is the place to go. They even have Nintendo here that you can play. Awesome.
So this behind me is Regalato. I've spent many nights hanging out here with friends. So there's a bar area just right here that's like a standing bar section. But then there's also a sitting area for just having dinner. And it's actually, the dinner's pretty good too here. Maybe that's another option that you can look into. This behind me is a public six. It's actually one of my recently favorite bars here in Rapungi. It's actually a sports bar that you can like hang out and chill. And then they have all sorts of unique beers, which is also a plus if you are a beer connoisseur like myself. Actual inside is like just very, very modern and clean. You feel like you're actually in a lodge, all made out of wood. There's like deer heads. And I love how the door opens. Check this out. Number 10, clubs. There's so many clubs, we can't go through all of them. That's actually gonna be for a separate video. But I just wanted to show you guys some clubs in Rapungi that may be pretty cool to check out while you're here. Right behind me is One Oak. It's actually one of the newest clubs. Dress code is very, very strict. So you have to dress very nice here. Now they also have bottle service, which is pretty cool. And if you spend a lot of money, there's actually a private room that you can get access to. Rapungi clubs are more international compared to other areas in Tokyo. What's nice about this club is that it's 60% Japanese and about 40% foreigners. So if you're looking to not feel like really, really out of place, then maybe this is the place to go, but still have, you know, the local vibe. El Tokyo. Here, ladies get free entry, so if you want to meet girls, this may be a good spot. This club right behind me is called L. We're actually in Azabujuban, which is like the next station. It's a little bit of a walk from Rapungi Station, but this is what you get when you want a little bit of luxury in your club. This place plays dance, electric music, probably around 50% Japanese and 50% foreigners. A line. This behind me is A Life. It's actually been here since I first came to Japan very, very many years ago, but it's still one of the more popular clubs in Rapungi. It actually closed once at some point, but it's back open again. It's quite a young crowd, and about 80% or more are Japanese, I would say. If you're looking for the local scene, try this club out. It's an oldie, but goodie. Right behind me is V2. It's also another dance electronic club. It's on the 13th floor of this building behind me. One of the cool things about this place is that it's very central to Rapungi. It's right across the street from the Don Quixote that we were at earlier. It's just very, very easy to get to. You don't want to walk all the long way to all the other places, go to this club. All right, quick note, this place right behind me is Gompachi. This is actually where they filmed Kill Bill. So if you want to check out this restaurant and have that Kill Bill action scene, well, you won't have the scene. You'll be able to enjoy where they had the scene. Definitely check out Gompachi. Do you remember this scene? It doesn't look exactly like the same when it's filled with tables and people, but still pretty cool, right? Maybe worth having dinner here as well. So this behind me is Muse. It looks like a really, really small club if you just look at the entrance, but it's actually three floors. It plays hip hop, dance. Also, one thing to note is that it's 50% Japanese and 50% foreigners, but it's really, really fun. I used to come here a lot. It was a really good place to meet friends. And if you come here, you'll probably be able to make some friends too. If you guys like this video, help me out and hit that like button. And for those of you who've never been a Rapungi, let me know which location you're most excited to go to. And as a challenge, also let me know how many places that you're able to go in one day. For those of you who have already visited, let me know what your favorite part of Rapungi is in the comment section below. If you want to catch more of my adventures in Tokyo and in Japan, like always, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.